front-end section overview. In this video tutorial, we are not going to go into any deeper functions of WP data tables. Just we'll give you a brief overview of different front-end elements so you would maybe understand better what is what. Uh, before going into creating WP data tables uh, using some more advanced functionality. So uh, we will use our landing page because it shows most of the front end elements that you can see in WP data tables. Right now you can see a rendered table, WP data table. Uh, so first element up here is the table title apparently. Uh, this table title can be defined in the backend and you can choose whether to show it or not. If you choose to show it, it's rendered like this in a heading uh, element H3, H3 to be exact. So uh, mostly that's it, nothing more to tell about the title. The next thing here is so-called table tools block. It has a copy button which copies the uh, table rows to clipboard. Then you can export these visible rows to PDF, to CSV file, toggle the print view, uh, or export them to Excel file. If the table is editable, uh, three of these buttons will be hidden, but the new delete and edit buttons would be displayed as uh, instead of them. Uh, so when you see in the settings or somewhere else in the video tutorials or documentation the table tools, basically it stands for this area here. For the current version of WP data tables, table tools are uh, is a, the functionality of table tools is managed completely by third-party library which works on Flash, uh, Adobe Flash, and um, apparently it doesn't work on mobiles. So when you're uh, toggling responsive mode, this will be hidden. Also, there are some problems related to PDF uh, formatting and Excel formatting, and uh, basically you're you're not able to do some styling for the PDF that will be exported. But we are working on that and I hope uh, sometime in version 1.6.1 or 1.6.2 we are going to introduce rewritten uh, table tools manager which will be done by uh, server side. Uh, basically it will have much more functions. So uh, sorry for stopping on that. Uh, it's not that much related to frontend. Uh, next block is the number of entries shown uh, selector. So by default it's 10. You can redefine the default for uh, each table in the backend and also your your users can choose how many rows in the table they would like to see. So, so now I chose 25, it can be 50 or it can be all and you see how the table re-renders when I change this. Next thing here is the global search block. Uh, it means that whatever I type here uh, it will be used as, as a search pattern through all columns and rows of the table. So not in one specific column, but within whole table. So let me try so type something here. Uh, and you see it sent the request to server and uh, show me only the rows which have this substring in, the, uh, in the, all of the columns. Next thing is the table itself, apparently. The table has the header, uh, it has columns, it has rows, of course, and most of the tables have also advanced filtering block below. Um, so let's go one by one. First is the headers. So each header uh, is defined in the column settings block in the backend, so you can redefine what will be displayed here. Uh, also, uh, when you click, if the sorting is enabled, uh, enabled when you click on the uh, column header, it's used for sorting. So when the uh, this arrow shows up, 
it means that it sorts in ascending order. When the arrow shows down, it's uh, sorting in, dis in descending order. Uh, right now it's sorting by date. So if we do the same by hits, you see that now this column is highlighted and now it's sorting in ascending order by hits. Now I click again and it will sort in descending order by hits. And same is for all other columns. The interesting thing here that many people do not know that if you click shift and sh click another column it will actually sort by two columns so you can sort by hits and pages per session uh, that's very interesting sub feature so when you click without shift it will sort just by one column uh, the rows um, there is not much to say about rows, just maybe that for editable tables uh, you can also click and select a row. In these tables you can only hover above them to highlight. Um, and yeah, that's it basically. So the filtering is the configuration of the front end filtering block is done in the uh, WP data tables backend. Basically, the functionality and logic of the filter depends on the data type and on the filter type that you choose. There are several filter types, so it's simple string filter, which searches for a substring. There is a number filter that searches for exact match of the number. There is a number range filter, which is filtering everything between a given uh, range of numbers. Uh, and then there is a uh, date range filtering which is uh, used for date columns where you can filter everything that it lies between range uh, between two dates sorry and uh, also there is a select box filter like for example this one here where you can uh, choose something from a drop down and it will show only only the records uh, which uh, which have this value in, in the column and one more thing is the checkbox filter when you have uh, when you want to choose one of uh, several options uh, so you can just use these checkboxes to filter everything so let's do for example austria and italy click ok now it's uh, sending the request to server and you see austria italy and implied so uh, if we disable this filter it will not only search within implied but within everything Okay, now that's it with the filtering. So also below the table you can see this info block, which tells us basically how many entries uh, does the table have completely, how many do we see now. Also if we do filtering, uh, let's filter once again by these two countries. When the filtering is done, this info block sh shows us that Filter returned 20 entries, but completely the tables ha table has 100 entries. And of course, the switching between pages block. So you can see here how many pages does the table have, and you can go to next one, previous one, first one, or browse by number. So basically, that's it for the tables, uh, except for editable tables. We will stop on editable tables in a separate uh, section of tutorials. There will be several tutorials on the editable tables. I will just say now that he, there you also have a front end um, editor pop up, which is basically a dialog where you can enter or edit values of the rows uh, in your table. A different thing, uh, which is also a part of uh, WP data tables front end are the charts of course because uh, charts are also a vital part of the, of the WP data tables plugin. Uh, so there are two rendering engines which we use in WP data tables. It's the high charts rendering engine and the Google chart. Difference, key difference is high charts looks much nicer but it's not free. If you're using this for a non-commercial organization, you can use this under common, a Creative Commons license. But if you're using uh, the site for some commercial purposes, you have to buy the license for high charts, high charts separately. That's a mandatory requirement. So you can go to highcharts.com and browse the licenses. They are not so expensive, but you get 
great functionality like 3D charts, uh, different animated charts, uh, stuff like that. So uh, when you render the charts, they can be they can be of different types. For example, here we have stacked area chart, which draws the series as areas which are stacked one above other and uh, everything inside of this area is colored with uh, some, um, some color that uh, you can choose or that uh, is there um, that is chosen automatically here we have a bar chart or column chart sorry and here we have 3d column chart interesting thing here is that if we go ahead and uh, filter for example everything starting from 1st of July to 31st of July uh, it doesn't have any records because we have some countries chosen so if we untick these checkboxes it returns us four rows and the charts follow so you see there are four rows and there are four values in the charts uh, in all of the charts so basically it follows the table filtering if you can enable or disable this option you can also use the charts on the front end separately from table or with the table or whatever you prefer uh, so we will stop on high charts and google charts and creative charts and using charts in whole uh, section of tutorials uh, but uh, here as i promised we just give a quick overview so here's another table and another uh, type of charts if you sort the chart also rebuilds itself um, so basically that's it about the front end section we will stop on all of these things in detail in further tutorials thanks for watching see you soon purchase wp data tables exclusively on code canyon